Welcome to the Montevilla Old Timey Kids Club Show. We're showing you our fifth episode of Nights, which this time is learning all about patience. In fact, I actually was wondering, what time is it? I'm sorry, what? Oh, well, I guess we better get on finding out what happened in today's latest adventure with our knights. I can't wait! So let's go! Roll em. Uh... Okay. Uh, let's get going! Hurry up! Oh... Oh my... Apparently I need to watch this and learn a little patience. And... Maybe even better manners. Alright, well here we go again. Last time on... Knights. Our enemy has sent a man to follow you. He's trying to stop you from getting to the castle. He's going to set a trap for you. What do we do? I have a plan. No! Uh, uh, uh. See to the nets, boys. What will happen to him? I don't know. We must turn our minds to other things. We've got a kingdom to save. Finally awake. There's some granola bars in your bag, Beowulf. You can have some if you want. Hey! So that other guy go. You know, the whiny one with the blue cape. What? He's not here! We'll find him! Make sure the fool didn't wander off! Doesn't he know we're still in danger? Hey! Look at him, by his bed! So no! What does it say? Oh, I don't know. I can't read cursive. Here, give it to me. I'll read it, Beowulf. Our friend is in danger. He's taken captive in the night. We haven't a moment to waste. Kidnapped? Who did it? Wait till I get my hands on him. Yes, Sam. Who did do this? There's no time to explain that now. We must set about tracking them down. Maybe we can get to them before it's too late. Look! It's a trail! The warning one must have left it! We should follow it! Very well. Get your things. the end. Where could he have gone from here? Look! It's in! Let's go! Wait! Stop! It's a trap. The enemy must have known we would follow him. So now he's making it look easy to get him back. You mean the enemy is here? Let's go fight that dog. We can beat him. Besides, we need to save our friend. I know you want to try to fight the enemy now, but the time is not yet right. Even if we could beat him, we first need to get to the king. Listen to me! You can't help yourself, him, or the king by going now. You're no good to the king as a prisoner, too. You'll come back for him. You sure? You have my word.
Oh, my cousin used to always say, Patience you must be. But waiting is just not easy, because my bossy heart hates waiting. But when I follow my bossy heart and I disobey God, who, remember, is the real boss, and that's what gets me in trouble all the time. But, you know, Jesus came and died on a cross so that we could be forgiven for all the bossy things that we've done. And then Jesus came back to life after being dead for three days just to prove that he really was boss over everything and that he loves us and that he cares for us. So now we aren't stuck having to listen to our bossy hearts because we can listen to the best boss ever, which is Jesus. In fact, he allowed us to be something, to be part of something even better than being a part of a club. He lets us be a part of his family. If you would ever want to have Jesus as your boss, instead of your bossy heart, and be a part of Jesus' family, then the Bible tells us that you can do that right now if you want to, just by asking him to be the boss of your life and to forgive you for all the bossy things that you've done. Now that sounds like an adventure, and we can even talk more about it on the next episode of Nights. Until then, cheerios! <laughs>